Chances are you came across a Samsung Galaxy S7 device and you admire the beauty of that phone. From the build quality to the interface, great improvement. The Samsung Galaxy S7 device is a well-crafted device and the camera is in another level. Unfortunately, the Samsung Galaxy S7 is not a cell phone that everyone can afford it. But if you want to experience the features available on that smartphone, I can explain how to do that. In this video, I'll show you how to install a custom ROM from, for Galaxy S3 device that replicates the TouchWiz from the Galaxy S7. Before you do anything else, make sure you back up all your data. Go to the link in the description of this video and download the files. Copy them to your external SD card and insert it into, into your device. After you do that, let's go, let's switch to the device and see how to proceed. On your phone, click home button, volume up and power button at the same time to boot your phone into a recovery mode. Since we want to install a new ROM, I recommend to first wipe your data Clean to install a new ROM. Wipe cache partition. And wipe the cache. Now we can install the new ROM. Go to your SD card and select the file to install. Once this process finished, this image will pop up for a couple seconds, taking you to the next phase of the process. Click next. Oh, okay. This warning came up because I forgot to agree the terms and conditions, so do that. Now here, select the features you would like to have in your device from Samsung Galaxy S7. I will select some of that I think probably we use the most. Now, next. More apps to select. I'll stick with the Viper and the Green 5. I want all these Google apps. Okay, here I will select this second option and here I will select the third 
I will leave this as it is and that's all it will start installing the application now this process can take quite some time so I will pause this recording and come back soon so it is complete now click finish and it will automatically reboot your phone this is one of the process that can also take quite some time but it, it is normal Once it completes, you got this configuration process, which all you guys know, and I will speed up. There you go guys, now you got the TouchWiz interface from your Galaxy S7 in your Galaxy S3. Well, that's all for this tutorial. I hope you found this video interesting. If you do, smash that like button, subscribe to the channel. There is more tutorial coming and I'll see you in the next one.